Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I'm Yuvi Prajesh again from Lakshmi Nissan Chennai today, and I am here with the brand new Nissan Magnite entry level XE non turbocharged petrol variant. This video is sponsored by Budmo.com, the spare parts expert. Any brand, any model, any spare part, they have the cheapest and expensive options all at one place for you. You can check out their website at Budmo.com or download the Budmo app, which is available for iOS and Android devices as well. Budmo also offers return and refund assurance within 10 days of purchase. If you don't like the spare part, you can return it within 10 days without any hassle. Budmo, the spare parts expert and quite literally the one-stop shop for all your automotive spare part needs. As you may already know, the Nissan Magnite was just launched and the entry-level variant of the Nissan Magnite is officially the cheapest compact SUV available in India today. So here's an exclusive walk-around review of this entry-level Nissan Magnite variant. At first glance, this entry-level variant does not look bad because the overall design remains exactly the same as the top-spec variant. The features, however, are watered down and this car does not get LED DRLs, no LED headlamps and not even fog lamps. Instead of the L-shaped LED DRLs, you get L-shaped chrome detailing and the headlamp design itself reminds you immediately of the Datsun Ready Go. The good part, however, is that the large signature grille has not changed in terms of design and the chrome brackets are still in place. The bumpers, however, do not get a dual tone finish, instead you get a black finished front and rear skid plate. Moving towards the sides, of course, immediately you get to recognize this as an entry-level variant, that's because the lack of wheel covers or alloy wheels. However, apart from that, the proportions and design details remain exactly the same as the top spec variant. These here are the 16-inch 195 section tires, exactly similar to those seen on the top spec variants as well. This is quite surprising because this engine is not very powerful and produces just 72 PS of maximum power. You of course get the Magnite badging on both the fenders at the front and even this entry-level variant offers full body-colored door handles and silver finished roof rails. The surprising part however is that even this entry-level variant offers rear windshield wiper, washer and defogger which even some higher-end cars do not offer on their entry-level variants. The rear fascia of this entry-level variant also looks very good and you get four reverse parking sensors on the rear bumper. The tail lamps however get LED-like detailing while they are not actual LEDs. So overall from the outside this entry-level XE variant of the Nissan Magnite does not look too bad and looks actually pretty good overall. Well apart from the lack of wheel covers or body colored ORVMs, you won't be able to identify this as an entry-level variant. So let's just get inside this car now to check out the features. Yes folks, I am right now inside the brand new Nissan Magnite entry-level XE variant with the non-turbocharged 72 PS 1 litre engine. Now this interior in the first glance itself is very very airy and brighter compared to the top spec variant. That's because of this dual tone theme. However, when you compare with the hexagonal patterned smooth surface over here on the middle part of the dash on the top spec variant, this gets a textured beige uh, material and uh, it personally looks better than the black uh, dashboard according to me so do let me know what do you feel about this i feel that this is much more airy and much more tasteful than the all black so talking about the features on this entry level variant this entry level variant is itself very very well loaded that's because you of course get dual airbags abs ebd as standard you also get manual air conditioning the surprise part is that you get rear windshield defogger with wiper and washer so that is quite a surprise and you also get rear adjustable headrests for the passengers so that is quite another surprising feature on this entry level variant. Other surprising bits include of course the silver finish on the steering uh, typically like the top spec variant however you do not get steering motor audio controls that's because there is no audio system. This gear lever also is exactly similar to the top spec variant as I already said and it kind of immediately reminds you of the top spec variants of the Renault Schreiber as well. You also get this contrast white stitching on the uh, gear lever boot and the seats themselves have a different design when you compare with the top spec variants despite being similar in terms of shape and design. You get this sort of hexagonal pattern on the seats and you also get this dual tone theme with uh, sort of white textured finish on the edges so that is quite nice again. Now, other surprising bits include all four power windows even on this entry-level variant. Other compact SUVs such as say the Brezza, the Nexon, uh, provide only two power windows for the entry-level variant. However, this 
even though being a much more low cost SUV gets all four power windows and the power windows also have uh, say a 60 second operation kind of function that is uh, even if you remove the key uh, from the slot we'll turn off the power let me just slot it in first of course let me just first show you the keys of course this car does not get uh, remote locking or central locking you only get manual keys with the Nissan logo even the key gets the latest Nissan logo as you can clearly see so both the keys are exactly the same and there is no central locking even manual central locking so you have to manually lock every door so this is the instrument cluster of this car it immediately reminds you of the Renault Schreiber this uh, center MID is exactly similar to the Renault Schreiber so there is no difference over here uh, the display can be changed using the button on the right side at the center of this uh, engine temperature gauge so this car of course gets instantaneous efficiency trip meter A, trip meter B average mileage and so on the speedometer is at the center in a digital format the tachometer is on the left side in sort of a pizza kind of design and uh, similarly the engine temperature gauge and the fuel gauge are also in a pizza shaped design as well so that was all about the instrument cluster it is a simple unit a uh, different kind of manifestation of the uh, design seen on the Renault Tribers instrument cluster so that was all about that coming towards the power windows of course as I already said you get just regular power windows on all sides no surprise however even if you remove the key after driving you can operate the power windows for 60 seconds even on this entry level variant how surprising is that so that is the amount of attention to detail and convenience Nissan has done and it is really very very worth it uh, of course the ORVMs do not get sort of electric adjustment or even anything you, you get internal adjustment using these stocks and knobs on both the sides so no surprise the ORVMs themselves are pretty large in size and even though they are not body colored they are still okay to look at the door handles even though being exactly the same design as on the top spec variant do not get uh, chrome or silver finish which is kind of obvious and this car also does not receive uh, electronic stability program traction control or even say speed limit control seen on the top spec variant that's because you only get a headlamp level scroller on the right side of the steering wheel talking about other available features of course you get tilt adjustable steering wheel the wiper stock also has functions for the rear windshield wiper and the headlamps are of course standard halogen units so there is no front fog lamp as well the good part however is that you get a day night switch for the IRVM even on this entry level variant many other manufacturers say even the Tata Nexon does not offer day night switch for the IRVM on the entry level variant along with the rear power windows they also cut down rear power windows on the entry level variant but still this Nissan Magnite has a day night switch for the IRVM along with rear power windows so how great is that the sun visors are of course standard units without a mirror for the driver however the passenger side still gets a vanity mirror that is quite good again the interior lights of course are exactly the same as seen on the top spec variant which I just reviewed and even the rear seats get a separate interior cabin lamp so how great is that so that was all about the interior the front part of the interior of the Nissan Magnite talking about storage spaces nothing has been compromised of course you do not get a center armrest however even on the top spec variant the center armrest cannot be opened uh, instead of that they have provided this cubby hole which is much more useful and uh, you can store a bit of small snacks or anything over here the cup holders remain exactly the same and even the large bottle holders on every door remain exactly the same along with the very very large 15 litre glow box however there is no illumination on this entry level variant which is completely fine another good part is that the fabric finish on the door pads have been carried forward well of course in a different texture and uh, quality even on this entry level variant so how really good is that so even if you opt for the entry level variant of the Nissan Magnite you don't have to compromise on overall feel good factor and quality that is a good thing now let's just get to the back seat yes folks I'm right now in the back seat of the brand new Nissan Magnite entry level non turbo variant and this is how the dashboard looks like in contrast to the top spec variant this interior looks much more brighter and more tasteful with the beige uh, color theme so that is quite good again talking about the rear seats of course just like the top spec variant you get ample amount of legroom however uh, this driver seat cannot be adjusted for height that's because it's an entry level variant from the mid spec variant onwards you also get height adjustment but not this entry level variant despite that 
uh, I have adjusted the driver seat for my height which is 511 for reference and the legroom is really really ample and even the comfort is really very good thanks to adequate amount of under thigh support talking about support you of course get rear adjustable headrests even on this entry level variant that is good focus and attention to safety by Nissan so that is quite a good feature however the rear seats themselves are exactly different when you compare with the top split variant that's because you do not get a center armrest and neither do you get 60 40 split folding function but despite that these rear seats are adequately comfortable the padding and overall bolstering may be slightly different with a slightly lesser bol bolstering at the center but still the overall comfort is very very good the texture is also carried forward towards the rear seats uh, these fabrics may not be the smoothest or the softest but they will be definitely long lasting that's what i believe the rear doors to get large one liter bottle holders and the rear door pads armrests also get fabric finish which is quite comfortable so that was all about the back seats of the nissan magnite entry level non-turbo variant this is going to be the most affordable compact SUV variant in the Indian market. Let's just open the boot to check out the luggage space. And we'll also get to see the actual difference in, say, the boot area when you compare with the top spec variants. To open the boot of the Nissan Magnite entry-level variant, this car also gets electric boot release even on this entry-level variant, which you can open from the driver's side itself. This here is the 336-liter boot space available on all Nissan Magnites and no difference over here. This entry-level variant obviously does not get a rear parcel shelf and it also does not get 60-40 split folding rear seats. But you of course have the option of completely flat folding the rear seats as a singular unit. The overall capacity is slightly larger than that seen on the Maruti Vitara Brezza and on either sides you get a bag hook for your shopping. So everything has been very very well thought out on the Nissan Magnite and this year is the very same 15 inch red colored steel spare wheel similar to the top spec XV premium variant. So that was all about the luggage space and boot capacity of the brand new Nissan Magnite entry level variant. Let's just close the boot now. Now let's take a look at the engine bay and judge the NVH of this engine. Quickly, let's just check the NVH of this non-turbocharged 72 PS Nissan Magnite entry-level variant. I have slotted the key in and I have started the engine. Immediately, you can notice the typical three-cylinder uh, rumble and there are a certain bit of vibrations on the steering wheel and the pedals. That's because this is of course familiar and uh, it is exactly the same engine seen on the Renault Triber. Uh, the transmission lever also as you can clearly see, well if you can clearly see, has a slight bit of vibration and once the engine settles down, this vibration is reduced. The engine idles at around 900 rpm uh, but it actually shows 1000 rpm, that's still completely fine and you can uh, notice a slight bit of vibrations even on the front seats. That's because this is typically a low cost 72 PS engine but still uh, when you uh, consider the lightweight of this entry level variant the performance is going to be just about adequate if not very very scorching or uh, not even as satisfying as the turbo petrol range so this is how the engine sounds at idle let me just uh, try revving it a bit yes this engine is exactly the same seen on the renault triber so the vibrations the noise the raspy note of this three cylinder engine is exactly the same so no difference whatsoever now let me just slot it into reverse and of course this car gets uh, four reverse parking sensors so nothing surprising you can easily park it and you also get the warning note despite uh, not receiving any sort of display for the reverse parking sensors so that was all about the nvh of this uh, three cylinder non-turbocharged petrol engine let me just uh, try opening the bonnet to show you the actual engine bay so this is how the nissan magnite three cylinder non-turbocharged 72 ps engine sounds from the outside as you can uh, clearly hear it this is not the most smoothest or noiseless engine but still it is going to be adequate in terms of performance well let me just uh, open the bonnet and uh, here you go this is exactly the same engine seen on the Renault Triber so no difference over here there is the typical three-cylinder uh, sort of vibration going on over here 
but uh, i am sure that it will uh, get smoother if you start revving so this is a clear, clear look at the 72 ps 3 cylinder engine energy series engine from the renault triber and it is going to be decent in terms of economy as well so that is all about this the bonnet also gets decent amount of uh, padding in order to reduce the uh, noise levels so that was all let's just conclude this review once we talk about the pricing so that was a detailed review of the entry level xe variant of the new nissan magnite compact suv which is the latest compact suv in the indian market currently if you just put aside the groundbreaking price of this entry level variant this car still is pretty impressive in providing standard features across all variants while also providing decent quality and comfort as well yes this may not be the most powerful engine on a compact suv but given this car's lower curb weight it is going to be adequate to drive for relaxed family users and of course the nissan magnite can easily challenge all cars starting from the tata tiago and the grand italian neos at the lower end while also directly challenging certain proven compact suv such as the tata nexon xuv 3w and the kia sonnet so meanwhile this is viprajesh signing off see you on another video thank you for watching